Hello Canyon, as you can see this is a Canyon Nerve XC 9.0 2012 edition. This recording is to demonstrate that the head angle of this bike is 70.3 degrees and not 69 degrees as is specified on the Canyon website. As you know the head angle affects how the bike handles. Before I check the head angle with an angle finder, which is the method that Canyon uses for checking the head angle, I'd like to point out four things. The fork is fully extended. The rear shock is fully extended. Both tyres are fully inflated with equal pressure and the bike is resting on a level surface. I'll confirm this by resting the angle finder on that surface. As you can see it's reading zero. Now I'll use the angle finder to check the head angle. And as you can see, it's 70.3. Now the angle finder may not be perfectly accurate, so I'll also use trigonometry to prove this measurement. The head angle of the bike is the angle that the head makes in relation to the ground. If we draw a line at right angles to the ground, we form a right angle triangle. And this is the angle that we're looking for. Note that the head angle follows the line of the fork. So we call this line fork and we call this line ground and this is the head angle. We need to find the length of fork and the length of ground. This is a special tool for measuring the head angle. As you can see this is a square that's keeping this a right angled triangle. The measurements we're looking for are this measurement which is ground and this measurement which is fork. As you can see this follows the line of the fork and the head perfectly. So whatever this angle is that is the head angle of this bike. So when I measured this triangle, the measurement for ground was 292 millimeters and the measurement for the fork was 868 millimeters. Now I'll show you what we can do with those measurements. This is the formula we need to use to find the head angle of the bike. The head angle is equal to arc cos of ground over fork. You can find arc cos in your calculator by pressing the second function and cos and then the length of ground over fork. These are the measurements we got earlier the head angle is equal to arc cos of 292 millimeters over 868 millimeters and after putting that into the calculator the result was the head angle of this bike
canyon nerve XC 9.0 the head angle equals 70.34 degrees rounded off to 70.3 degrees which is my claim from earlier Using trigonometry and a measuring tool such as I have is the most accurate way of checking the bike geometry. This method proves that the head angle of this bike is 70.3 degrees and not 69 degrees. This result is confirmed by the reading from the head angle finder. There is no reason why this bike should not have the head angle specified by Canyon. It was not possible for me to test ride this bike before I purchased it. Therefore, I had to rely on the geometry specification of the Canyon website in order to choose the right bike for me. On receipt of the bike, I realised that the bike felt unstable while descending and that the head angle seemed steeper than I expected. For this reason, I checked the geometry of the bike. The degree to which the geometry of this bike is different from the specification is similar to the difference between geometries of bikes that are designed for different riding styles such as cross-country, trail and all mountain. This is not a trivial difference. For example, the fork would need to be shortened by almost 30 millimeters in order to make a difference of 1.3 degrees to the head angle. The geometry of this bike is solely the responsibility of Canyon and I hope that after seeing this video that you will provide me with a suitable solution.